Retro Blasting is a YouTube channel for adult pop culture enthusiasts. Anyone under the age of 13 should only watch this channel with your parents. Retro Blasting is not a children's channel. Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good weekend and I wanted to let you all know that I had a great day on Saturday. I was invited out by Kevin Sexton of the YouTube channel The Toy Smuggler and uh, the link will be in the description below. He wanted me to come to a live stream that he was doing in a town called Dalton, which is north of me. And uh, he was doing it at a place called Battleground Games and Comics. And I'd never heard of it before. And I thought, well, Kevin's a good guy. I'm going to go out there and uh, help him out with this live stream. He's trying to open a toy museum called The Power of Play uh, in Dalton. Uh, and he's just getting the ball rolling doing that. He wants to do a whole toy museum devoted to the history of toys. And uh, I said, yeah, I'll come out there and, 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 and be a part of the live stream. And uh, a guy named Michael, who uh, owns Battleground, or he's he's one of the he's one of the owners of Battleground, was there as part of the live stream as well. Um, and uh, we did it for about an hour. It was really cool. But I wanted to tell you guys um, that when I walked into this comic book shop, I'd never been there before. It's about an hour and a half away from me, and uh, never even honestly heard of it uh, until Kevin invited me. I was so blown away by this comic book and game store, like not only from a comic and games perspective, but from a toy perspective that I just had to drop everything after the live stream. I was, I was going to just get in the car and go home, but, uh, I was like, no, I've got to get footage. And I always bring, uh, some AV equipment with me just in case I thought, no, I got to do a video about this. So uh, I put together some footage with the help of uh, Retro Blessing supporter Matt, who was kind enough. Uh, Matt and John, I was able to meet them while I was there, and Matt stuck around and helped me with uh, with some video shooting. Thank you, Matt. Really appreciate that. And uh, so let me show you this comic shop because it is... Hey everybody, we are at Battleground Comics and Games, and I gotta tell you, it is an amazing store here in Dalton, Georgia. I just did a uh, live stream with Kevin Sexton from The Toy Smuggler, but I haven't been in a comic shop like this in a long time. I mean, just looking behind me, all of the action figure selection that they have, they've got vintage here as well, and not just a little vintage, they've got a lot of vintage. So let me take you on a tour of this store. We'll go through it together. It is incredible. So uh, I thought we would start with the um, Marvel Legends, so I, I don't know what this crap is. Um, all right, so here are the Marvel Legends that they've got. I mean, look at that. I mean, the selection's great. They're both current, and it, it goes like four or five deep back here, which is really, really awesome. Uh, I, I, I'm telling you, this is better than your average GameStop. It's better than your selection at Target. I mean, this is what you want from a toy selection. Uh, and if we move along, you know, They've got the they've got the expensive stuff at the top, you know, the sideshows, the hot toys, the six scales. Uh, they've got your multi packs. They've got your Power Rangers, which I know we haven't talked about yet on Retro Blasting, but one day I will get to them, I promise. Uh, you've got your your Marvel uh, selects right here in in great varieties. I mean, they they've left nothing to chance. They've even got to come over this way, right here. They've got NECA's, so they've got your NECA stuff right there I mean that stuff you know there are there are so many different types of action figures to collect whether you're you're talking about you know adult collecting or vintage collecting or just modern store collecting karate kid I didn't even know these things existed and here they are karate kid re-release figures I'm tempted by that mr. Miyagi that thing looks amazing I mean just look right above our heads I mean we've got we've got x-wing fighters hanging from the ceiling I mean, this place is just top shelf. I mean, it really is top shelf. So if we look over here, we have a small selection of Transformers, and then we move right on into the Masters of the Universe stuff. And some of these I haven't even seen outside of the internet before, like the TV Tila, again, another one that just tempts me, or this, this evil Lynn right here that's TV accurate. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. We have our Star Wars Black Series. We even have the commemorative 40th anniversary Black Series right here that I haven't seen this many of in a long time. 
I mean, they really, they really have a good selection. I cannot say enough about it. So this is where my heart is here at, at Battleground. I mean, look at the vintage collection that they have here for sale. We're talking vintage Joes. We're talking vintage Transformers. We're talking mask. And they're in good condition too. Good variety. There's a great selection. Look at that. You've got the Manta there. You've got the Hurricane with good chrome. I mean, these look great. A, a boxed Megatron. G1 Optimus Prime. Ultra Magnus. Vintage Star Wars, including the shuttle. You know, we've got some 90s stuff in here. You know, Omega Supreme from the Transformers. I don't, whatever those things are, whatever. Vintage Star Wars right here. Just amazing selection. Now, I did notice that there aren't any Bespin Lukes, but I assume that's because he's the most awesome character, so they've already all been bought. But they have the other Luke Skywalkers here, Bespin Han Solo. I mean, the selection's just really, really good. Vintage Millennium Falcon looks to be complete, probably. Don't need it, but man, it's in great shape. I don't, I, I don't recognize any of those characters. I don't know what they're from, but I assume, you know, they're from another line like Defenders of the Earth. I don't know. It's, I know it's hard to see back there, but there is a boxed Hall of Justice back there. Might just be the box, but it is in gorgeous shape. Uh, I, I don't know if that's for sale. Not that I'm in the market for one, but man, you don't see that very often. Just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff here. You don't see this kind of vintage in all your average comic shops. And then if we come down here, um, oh yeah, there's there's some of my favorite characters. Um, but hey, I'm glad they're here and I'm glad they're uh, being taken care of. I mean, they, they look like they're in good shape. Another treadless thunder tank, that is a common problem. The uh, sail barge, I don't have one, despite what some people might say, and uh, the one that did show up on my doorstep uh, is halfway around the world now. I think we'll just move over here. So yeah, I mean, it is just a, I mean, amazing place. And uh, I picked up uh, one action figure that I'm gonna keep close to the vest right now because uh, I'm working on a big video feature uh, with with that collection that I'm putting together. Uh, if you follow any of our other channels, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, things like that, you might have gotten a hint of, of what I'm working on. Um, I am working on these videos right now. Um, so Robotech Part 3, which I know you guys have been waiting for, that's actually going to be dropping this week. So I'm in a race to complete that one and get it done this week. I've done a lot of work on it and I'm trying to get it done before the week is over. So cross your fingers on that one. Then I'm going right into, if I can pull it off, I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and get the first part of Batman the Animated Series, uh, the Retro Blasting Retrospective, part one about the cartoon, done before Christmas. I don't know if I can do it. If not, it will be the first big feature that we drop after Christmas. So keep your eyes open for that. We did a vote on Patreon, on the Retro Blasting Patreon, uh, for what people wanted to see in 2020. And the overwhelming vote from the choices that I listed was Inhumanoids. So Inhumanoids will be happening in January. So watch for that as well. Uh, I'm also doing, if you followed any of the uh, other portals, you know, Twitter, Facebook, I'm also working on a big three-part MacGyver retrospective that will start in January. Uh, and then I'm also working on getting Bucky O'Hare off the ground because I've really been diving into that uh, to finally kick that one 
uh, onto the video channel because that is a line that my brother collected kind of right at the end of his toy buying years. And so I still had his, his figures. And so I've completed out that collection. And so I'm going to be doing the history and retrospective on Bucky O'Hare as well. There's a lot more coming in 2020, more Star Wars follies. Um, I was hoping to get two Star Wars follies done before the end of the year, but unfortunately, you know, time makes fools of us all, and I've been cranking out content, just not that content. So you'll be seeing two more Star Wars follies as well uh, in the in the in the new year. Um, yeah, a lot going on, a lot going on. But I hope you guys are gearing up for a good holiday season, whatever holiday you celebrate. And uh, I will uh, see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little look at Battleground Games and Comics. Uh, if you're nearby somewhere in the United States, it, it's, they're worth checking out. They really are. So uh, thanks for watching this, guys. I'll see you on the next video.